Now the last thing that you need to know about issue of share is the reissue of forfeited shares. So what can happen is, let's say a company forfeited some shares, okay? Once you forfeited the shares, they were lying with you. So the company decided, let me issue it, reissue it, because by reissuing it, I can get some more cash. I mean, what will the company do with its own share? It's better to give it off to the public and get the money, okay? Now, when the reissue of shares happen, it's normally done as a fully paid shares. Now, what does this mean? Let's say, suppose you had a share of rupees 100, face value 100. Okay? When you are going to reissue it, there is no concept of, generally, I mean, allotment money, call 1, call 2, and so on. You just issue it at one go at 100. So the entire money is received in one go. So these are issued as fully paid shares and normally would be at a discount. So instead of 100, you would issue it at let's say 90. Now certain things which you need to note about this discount is that the discount cannot be more than the amount which was originally considered to be received on original shares. So let's say the value of original shares was 100 and you receive 60 rupees on the original share. So the discount that you can give cannot exceed 60. Okay? And this discount which is given is not debited to the discount account. Not debited to discount account. Rather, this is debited to the share for feature account because that is standing as a credit in the books of the company. Okay, let's say you received share for feature account was 60 rupees per share and you gave a discount of 30. So 30 will be debited to this account and the balance 30 will be transferred by the company to capital reserve. Okay, so what are the entries that are going to be passed? Let's say you reissue these shares at 60. I mean 60 is what you received you reissue these shares at rupees 70. Reissue at 70. So you would debit the bank account by rupees 70. You would debit the share for feature account. I told you that the share for feature account has to be debited for the amount of discount which is given. So if you reissue it at 70, discount basically is equal to 100 minus 70 is equal to 30. So this 30 goes to the share for feature account to share capital, 100. Now assuming you receive 60 rupees in the original share, the amount lying to the credit of share for feature account would normally be 60 minus 30. Right? So this amount, you again debit share for feature account by 30 rupees and transfer it to capital reserve. So that's how you do the accounting for these things. Okay?